What I have here is my daily driver. It's a 96 ZJ with the 4 liter and the AX15 5 speed. Um, the other weekend I put a new motor in this, uh, this Jeep, which I didn't bother filming because that's boring, because it's just a 4 liter for a 4 liter. But I had the bumper off. And while I had the bumper off, I was thinking, before I put the old one back on, I want to do some upgrades. Now, I am always hauling a trailer, uh, oftentimes launching boats. So, um, I'm looking at these factory tow hook mounts. They're real sturdy. I think I want to add a front receiver so I can uh, hook up the boat trailer to the front and launch forward so I can see what's going on. Now here I've got another receiver for the rear of a ZJ. So now I'm going to go ahead and modify this to install on the front of my ZJ. This is what I've come up with. I'm actually going to take the old hitch, flip it upside down. I've cut away a lot of it uh, and I've added a tab to the top. So what we're going to do, slide this under. We're going to have each edge bolting to the tow bar mounts and then one bolt on top, which is going to triangulate the whole thing. So it should bolt in nicely. Um, this is just sheet metal right here. So what I'm going to do there, so I got another piece of the hitch I cut out because here at Low Buck Garage we use the whole carcass. Slide it underneath and behind. I'm going to pop some bolts in here to hold that plate in place. Then that one tab is going to drill right here. Then this tab is going to drill right through it. So we're going to have one big bolt sandwiching the sheet metal to the reinforcing plate behind. Uh, now I'm not actually towing on the road with this obviously because you'd be pushing a trailer in front of you and that would be an accident waiting to happen. Uh, but for maneuvering around the, the yard or launching a boat this should be perfect. So uh, let's bolt her in. I showed you this trick on uh, the boat trailer video but you may not have seen that one and this is a good trick. Behind this piece I have my condenser. And I like my air conditioning, so I do not want to put this drill bit through that condenser. What I'm going to do, take a piece of fuel tubing, figure out how far I want it to be. Say I want to go in about that far. Throw that fuel tubing on here. And now your drill bit's only going to go that far, it'll stop. No set screw or anything to slip. It's going to stop positively on the chuck and you are not going to go through your condenser as long as you get that length right. You can always add to the drill bit guard if you want. In case you change out to a new drill bit, it's a little longer. Just throw another piece on. mount of the Jeep. We've got two bolts going into this tow hook mount, two bolts going into this tow hook mount, one bolt going into the reinforced plate on the front. It fits. It's sturdy. And it looks terrible. So, the next step is see how to fit the bumper cover up. 
trim in the middle for the main part. Here for the pin axis, little notches for the frame clearance, and um, ready for last final fitting. And the heat wants to come from the top. But a little wiggling, a little pulling. Luckily, this stuff is flexible. in there. We got a front hit. Trailer.